What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Road to Glory. It is Foot Champs Friday. We are qualified for Champs Finals, and we did it, and we'll be playing all of Foot Champs with a full Everton team. Let me take you over and show you guys. And we've also got an Evo to claim, actually. So before we go through the team, show you the custom tactics, show you who is playing where, we have finished keeping balance on Beto. So if we claim this Evo, Founders Beto is no more. That is pretty controversial, considering I was telling you guys to make sure you save your Founders Evo, because here you're going to be doing some Founders upgrades. And they did, and it was not very good. So screw Founders, give me Meta Beto right now, is basically what we've gone for. Did still feel a little bit wrong, I'll be honest with you, doing that. But he looks absolutely unbelievable. And you know what? This Playstyle Plus is actually really good on Ducore. This Ducore card is incredible. And it is, I'm going to put this out there. I think this is one of the best Evos on this whole game currently. And this is quite often, and I'll show you an example with it actually, with Mikalenko. Mikalenko is 90 rated. They are not really the stats of a 90 rated left back. Yes, pace and physical aren't great, but they don't really tie into a player's rating. They're just completely separate from that. That doesn't matter, does it? He's got 87 defending. He does have 92 sliding tackle, 88 defense awareness, 89 standard tackle. Okay, sure. He's got 97 short passing and 99 crossing, which is very important for a left back. He's got 67 dribbling though. Now, if, you, if I plugged them stats in and said, what rating do you think this player is? 86. I think is probably reasonable. That could be an 86 rated left back. However, Ducore, on the other hand, is not only got the stats to be an 87, he's got the stats to be a 91, which is kind of mental. I did this on Footbin and went and seen if a centre mid had these stats, what rating would they be? And they would be 91 rated. That is insane. Just ridiculous, to be honest with you. With an engine on him, which is what I've got in him, I think it makes him 93 or 94. And he's obviously got the playstyle plus of quick step, which is actually quite good. I don't know why he doesn't just on his card normally have relentless. And I think I said this in the last video, and I wish he did because he does get a little bit tired. But other than that, this card is insane. Absolutely unbelievable. And we've just unlocked the same playstyle plus on Beto. He's already got rapid, which is crazy anyway. Runs faster with the ball. This one accelerates significantly faster. This guy is mostly lengthy now, now that he's had an agility and balance upgrade. I guess we could maybe check out on foot GG or footbin. Could we make him actually lengthy by putting a hunter on him or something like that? But I think being mostly lengthy and having 96 dribbling thanks to the finisher and 70 or 83 agility and 74 balance. I think that's probably better. What he has also got is quick step plus. So I am very excited to try this card out and see how ridiculous and meta he now is. He's got four star, he's only got three star skills. It's going to probably be a while until we can put him into an Evo and upgrade his skill moves or his weak foot and everything, but I don't think he's going to need it, to be honest with you. He looks unreal. I'm so excited to try this out. I don't know if it made it into the last video where we were discussing or if I was just discussing it with my chat, but we were talking about the best play styles for fast players as a striker. And yes, having shooting play styles is great, but you don't really need them to score. Obviously, we don't want defending ones or passing ones. So then you've got the dribbling ones, which are okay, or quick step plus. Now, if you think of Mbappe, there's an Mbappe with rapid plus and there's an Mbappe with quick step plus. I haven't tried them. I don't know which one's better. But both of them are absolutely insane. So I'm hoping that basically quick step plus is the best, at minimum, top three play style pluses you could have on a fast, pacey striker. Which means we've basically got Beto's ideal playstyle plus and we've traded our founder status for it and I'm absolutely fine with that. We are chilling, right? Let's go through the rest of the team. Dan Juma, Evo Dan Juma has got five star skills, four, five star weak foot, sorry, four star skills. He's okay. He's not as good as you might think he should be with these stats, but that does tend to happen sometimes with cards on Ultimate Team. Not just Evos, like they'll drop a special fog and Hazard or something with crazy stats and he stinks in game. Dan Juma doesn't stink, but he's definitely not god tier, absolutely unbelievable, like you would think he would be with them stats. Wayne Rooney, on the other hand, is really, really good. We've been using him in our Foot Champs team anyway. Same goes for a Wobi, who will be playing right back in game. We haven't Evoed Patterson yet through Crossing Crusader, and I think a Wobi will be better anyway. James Garner goes to centre mid. 
Ducore and Deli Ali are also playing centre mid. Deli Ali is probably the weak link of this team. Mikalenko and Deli Ali are probably the two weak links. So I'm tempted to swap my custom tactics around and put Deli on the right where Patrick Vieira has been playing and put Ducore on the left where Zidane was just to give a bit more cover down the left hand side. But then I do that does make me worry because Iwobi gets forward. So it might be better to have Ducore cover on that side. I don't know. Anyway. Jared Bramfight, Evo is class. Looking forward to another Evo that we can put him into. Gone is unbelievable and has played 300, almost 400 games for us now in the actual Foot Champs team. Centre back Yeri Mina. I mean, he has 50 balance and 50 agility, and you can feel that he has 50. If you told me he had 25, I'd believe you the way he plays in game, to be honest with you. But he's good at defending. He's strong. He's tall. He's better than Finnegan. So he's in the team. There is an Evo for Tarkovsky, but it still doesn't quite make him very good. And there's a leaked one to come out tonight when I'm recording this video. So halfway through, champs, we might be swapping Tarkovsky in for Mina. If we can chain Evo Tarkovsky in the leaked one that's coming out tonight and the one that's already out, 100% we'll be doing that. The other option was Mason Holgate, but he's worse in basically every single stat than Mina by quite a significant margin. So we, we've gone with Yeri Mina. And then the only real huge oh my god i'm crapping myself what is going to happen in foot champs jordan pickford 82 rated he does have good reflexes and he's got very good kicking but that's completely pointless we've got a glove on him to give him plus 12 handling to get him up to 89 you got four positioning for 84 eight diving for 91 which is actually quite good I wish you could Evo goalkeepers, and I don't think you're ever going to be able to Evo goalkeepers. I don't think EA have set the system up properly for a goalkeeper to be able to be Evoed. But maybe we'll get a special card for him. Maybe they'll fix it. I don't know. Until then, this is our full Everton team that we are using this week, and we are unfortunately using Jordan Pickford. So it's going to be fun to see how that goes. We qualified for foot champs quite easily, actually. We went 4 and 1 in qualies. Obviously, actual champs is harder than qualies, but. I was expecting a struggle. Like, I was expecting to maybe have to cheat just to get into foot champs and play five games of qualies, win one or two, and be like, crap, this is like cutting it tight. Let's jump on the main squad, batter everyone, and then we'll play foot champs with the Everton squad. But we qualified with the Everton squad pretty reasonably, to be honest with you. We've got some players down on the bench that can come off the bench and make a difference. We've got Jack Harrison, who's been coming on for Deli Alley. Dobbin has not really come on yet. They still need to bring out an Evo that sorts out reactions and composure for bronze players that have been Evoed up because he just doesn't play like his stats should. Lukaku is actually really good. A bit of ex and past and present there. Donovan has been coming on for Dan Juma doing right. And then we've got options with Kale, Calvert-Lewin, Patterson's there just because to fill the bench. It's looking okay. It's looking okay. I did see some of the criticisms of this Road to Glory on the previous Foot Champs video where I got 16 wins with my meta squad. Where, I mean, it's not it's not even that meta, is it? Let's be honest with you. If we jump over to it, just very, very quickly, it does still have some Everton players in. Like, we are still playing Alex Awobi at right back. We are still playing an 83 rated. Hasn't been Evoed in about six months. Jarrod Bramfleet at centre-back. We are still using James Garner at centre-mid. But I can appreciate that I dropped Dan Juma and Deli Ali for Zidane and Gerd Muller to make the team better. And I did see you guys talking about... What's the point of this road to glory? Blah, oh, it's not very evident anymore, or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Which, fair enough, if that's what you guys think. Like, you guys are entitled to your opinion. For me, the point of this road to glory has never been about running an Everton team every single week. It's been about Evo in the Everton players and trying to make the best Everton players I possibly can. And we've got some of them now with this Ducore. It's crazy. I mean, Gorn has been that for ages, and he's always been in the team. Same for Bramfweight. He is good, and I definitely could buy a better centre-back, but I like using him, and he's good enough. For me, it's about upgrading and evolving. It's evolution Everton. It's about evolving the Everton players and trying to make really good Everton cards. And when they do fit the meta and they do play well enough to go into the team, they will go in the team. And when I just fancy trying them out. So when we finish this Calvert-Lewin, I'll probably do a week of foot champs where Calvert-Lewin's up front when we've put him into stop right there. Just because it's fun. Like that's For me, that's what it's about. It's about evolving the Everton players and having fun. So for me, last week, it was fun to try out Mazidan and my Gabe Muller and to do really well in foot champs. That doesn't mean I'm never going to put all the Everton players in, or that doesn't mean we're going to play full Everton every week or anything like that. It doesn't mean I'm going to set a rule. Like I've seen somebody, one of the top comments was like, there needs to be a rule for six Everton players in the team at all times. Why? Like for me, why? If I'm enjoying just playing the game and evolving my Everton players and throwing a couple in, that's fun. Forcing me to use six Everton players every week 
just, for me, there's no point in putting a hard and fast rule on it. Just evolve the other players, put them into the team, play some foot champs. Or, if you've just dropped 16 wins and you're feeling confident at the game, do a full Everton foot champs for fun. And I'm sure we'll do this again and again and again. When I can buy Eto, Et oh, sorry, we'll probably get one. If they ever bring a goalkeeper of out, we'll do a full Everton foot champs again. Maybe even just in a few, if we get some team of the years that are X7 or something. I don't know. Every now and again, we'll run a full Everton foot champs. And other than that, we'll just be playing some Road to Glory. So, without further ado, let's jump in and let's play some full Everton foot champs. Here we go then. This is exciting, but also I need to keep my emotions in check. He's got red Mbappe. This, I always play an absolute demon in my first couple of games as well. I don't know if it's just confirmation bias at this point. I need to temper my expectations and appreciate that I have Jordan Pickford in goal, and Yerry Mina at centre back, Mikelenko at left back. I don't have Zidane. I don't have Kane. I don't have Vieira. I'm probably not going to win. If I can win, if I can get 11, I'll be happy. I was. It would be a miracle, and it would, I feel like, cement my own opinion of myself as very good at this game if we got 14 with a full Everton team. I don't think that's going to happen, I'll be honest with you. But I'm going to try my best. And that's a good start. Why is he doing a tackle animation? Oh my god, he shifted over the bar. What? Excuse me? Excuse me? EA, I'm using an Everton team, bro. Oh, do Corey fight to the badge, you know? Play him off, Mina. Play him off side. Oh! We need to act. We need to compose ourselves. Go on, Ducore. Nice! This Ducore card, by the way, is unbelievable. I don't know if I've mentioned it. Probably have. He's insane. Oh my god. No, that was the chance! <laughs> that was the one where we get to sprint with Beto. Right, we've been absolutely robbed, to be honest with you, in this game. So, so far, so good in terms of performance levels. Um, we just need EA to stop scamming us. <laughs> and we'd be winning, so that's all right. Sorry, that's a penalty? No, that's that's not a penalty. Am I mental? Is this a... What? Fair enough, I guess. Like, why is he allowed to try and tackle me again when he's just completely failed to tackle? It's a penalty. Oh my God, you've given him a goal kick. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, you are joking me. I can't believe I haven't just got that pass across. Some of that performance is definitely on me, and I've definitely not played as good as I could have done. Some of that performance is just absolutely ridiculous. I am shook. That, that always happens to me in game one, though, even with the God Squad. So, nothing to get worried about. Zone in, start playing properly, and get some dubs on the board with the Everton team. That was painful, though. Oh, my God. Right, so we're not going to put every game in this video as well, because it would be three hours, four hours long. 
So I'm going to go and play some, hopefully get some wins on the board, and I'll come back and give you guys an update in a few games' time. Okay, welcome back. We've played some games. It's not gone great. And we are... 2 and 4. I feel... Like I could have played better personally, I'll be honest with you. I feel like some of them losses in there, I could have maybe done an extra pass. Maybe done a bit of better dribbling. Maybe timed my shot. Maybe defended a little bit better. And I feel like I just haven't played as well as I have been playing recently. However, I would also say 95% of it comes from my opponents having Van Dyke, Blanc, Basher, Havert, etc. And me having Yerry Mina, Mikhalenko, Jordan Pickford. It is honestly painful. I cannot express to you how much difference it makes to your team. Like, this kind of sounds kind of stupid, and it, it will sound stupid at first, but hear me out. How much difference it makes to your defense having good players. Now, that might seem obvious, but midfield and attacking-wise, yes, obviously Zidane is better than Deli Alley. Yes, obviously Harry Kane's Champions League card is better than Beto. Yes, obviously Muller's better than Dan Juma. But it doesn't actually really matter that much because a lot of what you do with your attacking is you, your inputs, your whether you're doing a ball roll, whether you're doing a play lock, whether you're passing it to someone. Do you do the pass now? Do you do the pass later? Do you time the shots? Do you go near post? Do you finesse it? Do you travello it? It's all decisions you make yourself. So I would say my attacking play with that other team when we got 16, I won't say 10 out of 10 because that would be ridiculous. That would be 20 now. Say we were doing like 9 out of 10 attacking wise. I'd say with this team, we're doing 8 out of 10. 7.5 out of 10. It's not actually made that much difference. The defence, we've gone from, again, let's say we're dropping 8 or 9 out of 10 defensive performances. 2.5. 3. And I'm doing the exact same stuff, but I don't have Van der Sar in goal. I have Pickford. I don't have Van Dijk. I have Mina or Finnegan. I don't have Basha. I have Mikalenko. It's honestly painful, and it's made me realise it's actually really bad. And Run the Foot Market said this to me when we were doing Squabble the Showdown for the Squabble the Showdown event calendar, and he's obviously a lot better at this game than me. He basically said it is incredibly stupid how defensively favoured this game is. And that, when he said it, I think I've said this in a video before, like really did click in my head as like, wow, that is actually really true. That like you can do such amazing, incredible work going forward, and it doesn't matter because your opponent's got Van Dyke. And you don't really have to do anything, and it just does it for you. It is really, really, really rammed home how true that is, and how the favour has nothing to do with what you do personally playing the game. It's literally just what defenders you've got. So this guy's got Ledley King with Anticipate Plus and Van Dyke. He doesn't need to be good at defending. He just needs to let the game do it for him. You can't let the game attack for you. In fact, the game actively hinders your attacking because the attacking AI is so bad on this game. Whereas defending, if you just let the game defend for you and you have good defenders, it works. And th th doing this has seriously rammed the home. Now, I'm trying not to make excuses and stuff. I'm running about three hours sleep and feel like ass and I'm not playing particularly well, which is why I'm not saying I deserve to win all the games. I haven't played particularly good either. But that aside, some of the stuff that has been happening, and maybe you guys will see it in this game, has been just outrageous, especially defensively. Like, the difference... Oh, my God. I feel like we've been getting... Okay, that was a block. I feel like we've been getting really unlucky with stuff like that. But the difference between having somebody with Anticipate Plus or having Van Dyke and having Finnegan or something like that is absolutely outrageous. Oh, Rooney's injured. Beto bangs them, though. There we go. So, attacking-wise, I don't feel too hampered. Obviously, Harry Kane's got better shooting than Beto. That goes without saying. And he's also got much nicer agility and balance and stuff. But you, you make a good chance. You find a bit of space. You do a good pass. You throw one goal, and you can finish it. And he's not very good at dribbling. He's incredibly clunky. But he's also quite good at powering down the line. Attacking-wise, and midfield and stuff... It's fine. Like, we can play football, and we can score goals. And this person isn't particularly good that we're currently playing against, which is helping quite a lot. We've played some very good players with some very good teams, trying to defend against... I think one guy had 
Eusebio and Mbappe. And another guy had Pele and Garincha. And trying to defend against them with Mikalenko and Yerimina is just not going to happen no matter what you do. Which is really sad, actually, for the game. In terms of, like, as a competitive thing, which I've really been enjoying getting better at. The fact that there's basically nothing I can do to defend better. There obviously is, with it, but, like, within reason, you're never going to be able to defend with Yerimina as good as a normal person is with Laurent Blanc and Van Dijk. That's kind of sad, to be honest with you. Go on, Wayne. Come on, let's put this game to bed. I really, really, really want to put Jordan Pickford on this penalty, just because it'd be funny. Well, I'm not going to do that, and I'm just going to score it. Uh, if Pickford was better at scoring pens, if he if Pickford scored that, he would have officially been better at scoring penalties, or a better goal scorer than he is a goalkeeper. It's probably the best way to put it. Oh my god, Dan Juma, you are so bad. Oh, you are so bad, bro. What is that animation? Oh my lord. We just skinned Van Dijk. You've completely missed the ball, Alex. I can't even mad at you. You're in the actual... You've completely missed the ball as well, Jared. I can't even mad at them two. They're in the actual team. They're in the actual foot champs team. So some of it is just me just apparently miss time and tackles, playing badly. But some of it is also just sheer quality of the defenders. It is painful. Jesus Christ, Pickford. No, 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 no. Thank you. He's actually made a save. Horribly sweaty goal, but I'll do anything for a win, to be honest with you. Anything. There we go. Games, I mean, the game was done anyway, wasn't it? It was 4-1 in the 90th minute. The game is well and truly put to bed. EA have niced us with some matchmaking there, to be honest with you. Is what has happened. We've played absolute demons for the other six games. That guy was basically a free win. Thank God, because I needed one. We'll be back when we've played some more games. Welcome back, everybody. It is now Monday. Foot Champs Monday, which is pretty crazy. I actually love that EA have extended Foot Champs. It's crazy to think that we used to play 40 games of Foot Champs only on a Saturday and Sunday. And now we play 20, and you can play Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And I love it. It's so much better. This is the team. As you can see, Finnegan is in. Instead of Yerimina. Did we cover that in the last episode, in the last part of this video? I can't remember. What we didn't cover in the last part of this episode is how grumpy I was on Friday. I was very tired. I'm going to show you guys my record. So if you're in the stream or if you thought, bloody hell, Andy's grumpy in this part, the first part of this video. Sorry, I am only human. I can only apologize. I was being a big grump and I wasn't playing very good. That is Div Rivals. This is Champs. We are five and six. It's not gone very well. However, we were four and six after the first 10 games on Friday. It was awful. And I come on stream and I came to record some Squabble of the Shirt on Saturday. And before I did it, I was like, I just need to prove to myself that I can play well with this Everton team. And it was just my brain being switched off with three hours sleep on the Friday. And I went and won a game and that was good. And now we're five and six. So after 11 games last week, we were 11 and 0. After 11 games this week, we're five and six now. I can blame me being tired and blame me playing bad. And it's true. I did play bad. And it is, I can also blame the team because the team's terrible, to be honest with you. And it's actually kind of painful to play with. But I am determined on this road to glory at some point to get 14 wins with a full past and present Everton team. Maybe with an asterisk because of Pickford, because they just don't give Evos to goalkeepers. And we put Van der Sar in goal. We'll, we'll come on to that. 
However, out of the 11 games that I've played, I see, we'll go through the 10 on... So we battered together, we played on Saturday. On the 10 that we played on Friday, I think if I wasn't tired, I would be 6 and 4 instead of 4 and 6. So we can definitely put some of the bad play down to my own poor decision making and my own sleepiness and my own just, ve just poor play. Just not playing very well. However... There was also some games where I played like against like Pele and Mbappe and stuff, and it's nothing you can really do to stop Mbappe scoring when you've got Jordan Pickford and Michelenko. So it's a bit of a grind, but I was being very grumpy about it on Friday, whereas I'm in a much better headspace today, and hopefully just going to enjoy trying to win with the Everton players, rather than getting annoyed about the fact that Yerry Mina turns like a... Bin lorry, or that Finnegan's five foot nine and can't win a header, or that you tackle someone and they don't do a special animation that Van Dyke's got to get the ball. It, it is what it is, you know. Game's the game, unfortunately. We have made our bed and we're going to have fun in it rather than sleeping in it. So let's jump into some more foot champs. There's a couple of quick things that I can show you guys. There has been some new Evos that have come out, and one of them actually looks class. Now Evos. Oh, also, also, there's been a very big development because on Twitter and Reddit, you guys might have seen you can get two playstyle pluses on Jao Cancelo. And I think there's a... I think someone's got a John Stones with two playstyle pluses as well. A Saliba I've seen, actually. It was Saliba that's got two playstyle pluses. The way they've done it is... See the way I haven't done these challenges on level three for Calvert-Lewin? You do the challenges, but don't claim the upgrade. Because like you guys know, when you finish doing some Evo objectives, you have to go into Evos and click X on it to get it to give you the new better card. If you leave it there and let it expire... They are still claimable and they stay there, which I've always been worried that they would disappear. So I've never had the thought to even try this. Apparently somebody did. And if you, even if this expires in one day, if I do these objectives and let it expire, I will still be able to claim the rewards. What that means is I will have this card, but be able to claim the rewards of the Trek Artista time with the Playstar Plus and the Plus One Pace, Four Pass, and etc, etc. But... If I go over to stop right there and try to do this, it won't say you have an evolved version of this player because he won't be an active Evo that I can actually activate and do the challenges for. Which means I can put him into stop right there, get the plus five passing, the one star weak foot, the press proven, the four dribbling, etc, etc, etc. Claim all of that stuff and then go back to the Trek Artista time Click claim and it will give me the plus one pace, four pass, and two dribble and the play style plus. So we can have both. Or we could just leave it there forever, I guess, and get a different play style plus on him. And then claim this one as well. I assume EA are gonna patch it at some point because this seems a little bit broken. But we may as well use it whilst we can, because some people are running around with two Jao Cancellos. Or oh, with Jao Cancelo with two playstyle pluses on, I should say. Right. Other things we got is cut inside. Unfortunately, I can't double Evo Jack Harrison. This came out last night. And the day before, there was another one, which I'm going to show you guys very shortly. If I scroll down to Jack Harrison, he fits into it with all of the stats, but he's got too many positions, which is annoying because his positions are left mid, left wing, right mid, right wing. But that counts as four. And you're only allowed three, which is frustrating because it's basically the same thing, you know, it's like a default on this game, everyone who can play left mid can also play left wing, so we can't put him into that, something we could put into that is Chloe Kelly, and it just gives her really good stats, five star weak foot, and she obviously has whipped pass plus, which is super OP, what we can put Jack Harrison into, and what we can put Andy Gordon into, and this is going to be a topic of conversation for you guys, it's safe to say that there is quite a sour taste in the mouth of Everton fans when it comes to Andy Gordon, I got a, I got this card. I didn't do it originally in the SBC. I did a year in review pick and he popped up and I thought I may as well take him just in case. I don't know. Uh, just because he did play for Everton just for like a collectible sort of thing from a collector's point of view. And now they've dropped this Evo for him and he looks absolutely insane in it. Do we do it? The other person that you can do it on and we will be doing it on is Jack Harrison, like I said, which frustratingly, he's four ratings too low, eight pace too low, 13 passing, etc, etc, for the things that you're allowed to put into this Evo. So I probably will hold on to it for the 19 days before we pay the 100k. Because there might be another Evo that we can come out and boost his stats up with, which we would have done this cut inside on with and got him some extra pace and shooting and weak foot and blah, 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 blah. But we can't do it because he's not allowed to go into that one. So he's stats wise, he's able to chain them both, but he just doesn't have the correct positions, unfortunately. So does make him quite good, though. And it gives him Travella Plus, which, again, Travella Gate, 
You, so you, the other thing is you can't currently put him in it. It just crashes the game because he gained his right wing position from a different Evo and it just crashes the game. So that has been an issue in the past. Hopefully EA sort it out this time like they did last time, but it is EA. You never know. Apparently a workaround is you can do it on the web app. So if you're struggling with this like me, you can do it on web app and it will actually work. I unfortunately cannot show you the stats that it'll get because it just crashes the game. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, so some new Evos to come out, but basically we just need to jump in and just play some foot jumps and just try and play for as good as we can, I guess, with the Everton team. And then we can reevaluate. And like I said, I am setting it as I've got now got 16 wins of a normal team or normal ish. We did, we're still using some Everton players. I'm going to set it as a goal for myself to get 14 wins. Like I'd hope to get 11 wins this week. We need six from nine. I'm going to set it as a goal for myself to get 14 wins with an Everton past and present team at some point. I would then like to, if we, or once we achieve that, I want to get 14 wins with just an Everton team. So no Rooney, no Awobi, just Everton players, male and female. It's a challenge for us, but I mean, it's doable. I would not really look like we're going to get any team. Of the, I mean, that's not true. We might get a team of the season for Jared Bramfleet or something, but hopefully by then we'll have an Evo for him. That's absolutely insane. And Ducore was on track to get a team of the season before he got injured. So you never know. We could end up with some good cards by the end of the game. Just give, let us Evo goalkeepers. Fix the Evos, EA. Right, let's jump into some foot champs. Okay, who are we playing? First thing on a Monday morning, because you can play foot champs on a Monday now. Edison, Red Van Dyke, Zico Kaka. Ooh, okay. Interesting team. Go an Evo Acuna on the go as well. I like that. Go an Evo Bernardo Silva. Nice. Come on, the Everton boys. Oh my god! We've nearly hit one immediately. We are a sweaty animal. Go on, Beto. Oh, we've green that. Are you messing? Where are you really on the green? That is a nice goal. That is a good goal from the Everton lads. We are okay. Are we getting a rage quit straight away? Nice. Go on then. We have dominated. Absolutely dominated the first 20 minutes of that game. Probably should be about 3 0 up. Much better. Well, come on. Okay. I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back because that is far, far better than what I was playing on Friday. Maybe. Maybe I should have just woke up on Friday and thought, I feel like death. I've had three hours sleep. Maybe we shouldn't play foot jumps, but I did it anyway. And in hindsight, maybe not the best idea. But, but if we play good today, we, I mean, if we win every single game, we can get 14. That's not going to happen. We're going to slip up at some point. We have an Everton team. Let's go play some more games. Well, that's gone quite well. We are now 10 and 6. So since dropping 4 and 6 on Friday... We've then won six games in a row. So perhaps I was a little bit harsh on the Everton lads. And yes, they are a bit terrible. But it seems like quite a lot of it was just my fault, to be honest with you. I mean, yes, Mikolenko can't dribble. And if you pass him the ball, you are in danger of him falling over his own legs and losing possession and conceding immediately because they're throwing goal. But just don't pass Mikolenko the ball, you know? <laughs> It's been a grind. We beat a guy on penalties who probably should have beat us if he played properly, but he was just messing about trying to do skills. And in on the balance of the game, we should have won it in terms of we created the better chances and they just like hit the post, hit the bar a couple of times and things like that. However, he was just running around doing skill moves with Zidane and Mbappe and stuff like that. If he'd have played properly, he would have absolutely battered me because he was quite good at the game. I don't know what he was doing. And we somehow robbed the win and got a win on pens, which was nice. We've just played the guy with R9, but fortunately for us, he wasn't very good. And his R9 did score a hat-trick, but we managed to put six past him, I think. So, so <laughs> thankfully, that was okay. And then, yeah, other than that, we've been playing quite good. Playing decent players with good teams and just been playing quite well and getting results, which is nice. So, it's looking all right, you know. It's not looking too bad. This is our game to get 11 wins, which is what I wanted when I set out on this journey. I mean, I would have liked to get 14. I'm not going to lie to you. And we technically can still, but it's unlikely that we're not going to drop a game. If we keep playing like we are, you never know, but it's unlikely. I, just, I need to win one from four to achieve my... Okay, that was pretty decent. I got 11 wins, which is what I was getting with my main squad at the start of the year. Which is pretty good. 
in hindsight, if we would have played better on Friday, we'd actually have a really solid shot at getting... Because I think we could have won an extra couple of games on Friday. So we could be 12 and 4 now and have a very, very realistic chance of getting 14. But I would have ripped your hand off for 11 at the same time. So we're playing against Darwizzi with a Liverpool badge. This is this is personal. We mean business. He's got... Oh, my God. He's got Red Allison. Oh, he's got a lone R9 and Eusebio. So we've just played R9 and we're playing R9 again. The last guy actually had R9. And honestly, it's a joke. I was green time and shots with Beto. I was green time and shots with Dan Juma. I'm green time and shots with Rooney. And is Allison saving them? He was literally just shooting from anywhere with R9 and it just goes past Pickford. And tackling him. It's impossible to get the ball off R9. Right, this is a big problem. Yeah, that's a big problem. Very big problem. Caught on the counter-attack because of a dodgy pass from myself by Garincha Eusebio and R9. What are you going to do? <laughs> oh, he's moved his van der Sar. Oh, Andy, you should have spotted that. That was a free goal. I was too busy concentrating on right. Like, you have to make sure Beto is properly balanced and ready for this shot. Because his finishing's insane, but only if he's, like, perfectly set up to hit it. It's not offside. Because I was too busy focused on making sure Beto wasn't falling over his own legs before I pressed shoot and then greened it. That's on me, that. I should have greened that and it might have gone in. Oh, really good feet. Oh, I thought I tackled him. I pressed tackle. And as you say, was just jinked in between me. I'm looking forward to getting that SBC. When we start opening all of our crazy packs for Team of the Year, the 84 times 20s and stuff, we'll probably start putting the Jupe Fodder into you, Sabio. Because he is really, really freaking good. Bloody hell. This guy's playing what is essentially my kryptonite. 4-4-2, spam off side trap, compress the midfield. And if you're somebody who likes to play possession football like I am, it is impossible to play against. Because there's just two lines. Look at how close the two lines of players are to each other. And then his strikers dropped back into his own half as well. And you either get tackled from the front or tackled from behind. It's so hard to deal with. He says absolutely cutting them apart and making it 2-1. Go on, Beto. That's the best little bit of pass and play I've done in this game. It is really difficult against the two compressed lines of four. This guy's a really good player. This guy's a really good player, and he definitely deserves to be winning us up. He's created some good chances. The one, the goal of Eusebio in particular was really nice. I thought I tackled him, and he just skimmed me. It's tough. It's tough. Really, really good teams that we're playing against, and we're trying to defend them with Finnegan and Mikhailenko and stuff, and I haven't given myself the best platform by playing ass on Friday, unfortunately. It's a foul. You can't tackle someone from behind like that. But you, well, you can on this game. That's the problem. Beto is just sat you down, Van der Sar. Go on. The byline bandit is back. And he's happy to be here. Yeah! The byline bandit is back, baby! Oh, we sat him down again. But the spin and the shot was just a little bit too weak. We've got 11 wins. Wow, okay. Man, this has been a crazy comeback. Our Colombian manager is absolutely buzzing, even though Yerimina doesn't play. He's been our manager this whole foot champs, and he deserves that. What a job he's done. The way he's rallied the troops and brought the morale back after the man controlling them dropped an absolute stink show on Friday. He's bloody done it. My manager, what a man. Right, this is incredibly impressive for myself, if I do say so myself, to rescue this record. And what it is, is also we've put ourselves in the exact position that we used to be in. Before we, like, 
actively tried to learn to be good at this game and then went 14, 14, 16. This is the position we used to be in every single week. Apart from the first few weeks where we dropped nine wins, but we don't talk about that anymore. We basically, we get to our 11 wins and we'd have to win every single game to get to 14 and we'd always stumble on it. We're now there with an Everton team. And not only we're there with an Everton team, we're there with an Everton team after dropping the most god-awful foot champs performance I have done all year on Friday. This is... Uh, this is promising. This is really good. And this is also kind of annoying because it kind of makes me want to do it again next week and not play like an absolute idiot on Friday. <laughs> so let me know in the comments what you want to see next weekend. Yeah. We've got three games to play. We have to win all three of them. And if we do it, we get 14 wins with a full Everton team. And the worst part is I feel like we definitely could get 14 wins with a full Everton team. Because we should have easily won a couple more games. Irrelevant of the fact that it's Everton, just from my own performance on the Friday. But we, at this point, we should be 13 and 4. 12 and 5 or something like that. And basically being like, right, let's get 14. Whereas what we're about to do is about to jump into a game and say, fingers crossed, we can clutch up. We've just won... Seven games in a row. What's three more? Oh, baby. That is a team. Lucio, Carlos Alberto, Cafu. Have 18, yo. <laughs> Bloody hell. Come on, Andy. That is absolutely stupid from me. I've just given him a goal. That is so stupid from me. I don't know why I'm trying to play a lock there. That is very silly. Not when this guy's pressing like he is. This guy's a really good player as well. I was good. Unfortunately, is probably the way to put it, but it's it's not unfortunate, is it? It's for champs. Most people are very good at this game. <laughs> we need to stop doing stupid stuff. I would back myself against this guy. Oh, you're kidding me. The auto switch. What a save, Pickford! I would back myself against this guy with my normal team. This is one of them ones where it's going to take a monumental performance from me with this Everton squad to get a result here. Oh, just in the gap, Wayne. Come on, mate. We can do this. Oh, this guy's team's crazy, man. Just run... Okay, that's poor defending that one. Just runs through your players. I'm looking forward to trying this... Oh my god. <laughs> Look, there's quite a lot of players I want to try actually, so we might run a normal foot champs or normal ish at least next week. Because I do want to try that Havits and I want to maybe try some different custom tactics or some. I don't know, we'll see. Deli Alley. Deli Alley. I have. Oh my god, that is poor. Delhi of the house alley. Delhi of the house alley. What is wrong with you? You are trolling me, mate. What? That's like an animation that Patrick Vieira does. You're meant to be good. You've got Traveller. We've actually, after we got used to this guy's style of defending, been quite unlucky not to score, to be honest. So I'm cautiously optimistic. Cautiously that we might be able to make a comeback again. What a finish. What a finish, Beto. Go on, lads. Sat him down with a cancelled shot again. Shifted it. Bang. Come on. Oh, he's moved to Schmeichel. Oh, Andy, you know he moves his goalie as well. I should have smashed it near post. Oh, he's so bad. This Mikalenko is absolutely awful. And now we don't have our left back. Go on, Bramfight. <gasps> game! You can't do that. You cannot do that to me, game. Oh, thank God. It scammed him as well. Oh, I sat him down with a cancelled shot again and then green the next one and he just tackled me from behind. Beto! No! Come on, Beto. Be our byline banditry hero. He's done it. 
Is he off? He's offside anyway. Okay. Oh, I've been so tilted. I hate Schmeichel in this game with an absolute passion. If that would have... Oh, if he was onside then, I would have been absolutely raging. We're going to extra time. Well, I feel like, in the end, we probably could have won this game. And maybe should have. First off, this guy absolutely battered me. Second off, we've been all over him. It's been a very close game. We've had the chances to win. Oh, it's been close. After all the work we've done to try and score a goal, that animation makes a screamer with Mo Salah. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Oh, you couldn't really see it from that angle. What was that, man? Oh, it's gone through Finnegan. Ah! Ah, oh, we've been out teams a little bit, unfortunately, in the in extra time. Ah, this, it's going to be 11, and it's going to be a very hard fought for and very well deserved 11, I think. But Pickford should have saved that. Pickford's so bad. But. I'm going to go away from this with a slight feeling of regret, I guess, for how poorly I personally played at the, in the first 10 games and what could have been. And what still could be with Lukaku getting into the box. No, he's going to run to the edge. No worries. Oh my god. Oh my god. The pay to win from good defenders is ridiculous. Come on, Rom. Carlos Alberto has still got full stamina. That should have been a pen. Ah, uh, could have just he could have just gone down. Wayne Rooney, that is embarrassing, mate. That is I that kind of sums this game up. Incredibly fine margins, and I haven't given myself the luxury of a buffer for getting 14 by Losing six of the first ten games. But that that chance there probably sums up this game. You have to give it like three bars of power to make sure it does a Travella instead of a stupid little spinning round <laughs> back heel thing. And then you give it that and he just smashes it over the bar. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. The 14 win dream with the Everton team dies there, but realistically, it died on Friday. So that guy was a good player. He played well. He had a very, very, very good team. And we just got a little bit unlucky, to be honest with you, with some of our chances. And we have Pickford in goal. Yeah. It's one of them. You can't win them all. And you need to give yourself a bit of a buffer if you're going to ride them losses and then come out the other side. But we don't have that buffer, unfortunately. And now we are officially 11 wins. However... I do actually need to get to 12 in order to be able to get 14 for the rest of the weeks of this season in order to get the two red picks because I got 16 last week, which gives me... It's 14 on average. I got 16 last week, which means 12 this week keeps me on average for the 14. So I do actually need to play these two games and hopefully get a win. We're not going to put it in the video because you guys just want to see rewards, but I'm going to play them on stream and then we'll come back and open the rewards. Hopefully win the first one and then give away a free win. There we are then. We actually got given a free win, which was class. And then we went and give away a free win ourselves. So rewards are here. 11 wins with a full Everton team. It's pretty good. Pretty pleased. Oh, we've actually... I was just opening some random crappy packs and we managed to get a Bernardo Silva. So there's some SPCs to be done, but we can get some fodder here to help us do them as well. We need to finish John Stones off, maybe start Eusebio. I don't think we're going to do the icon player pick because I'm not mental and it's 350k. Let's kick it off with the PPs. We've got more good fodder. Irene Paredes. Very nice. Is she dupe? Untradeable? No. Lovely. We've got not-so-good fodder in Bastoni, where you guys will notice as well, if the eagle eye amongst you might have spotted, that I don't have that many coins anymore. And I'll show you where they went. We need to find something to put Bernardo Silver in before we can open our packs. But I've got 130k now because of the foot champs rewards. You get like 40,000 coins for it. We've got some squad battle rewards there as well, but whatever, they're terrible. I went and did some investments because I didn't just like sitting on my coins. We've obviously, we've had these Alex Greenwoods for ages. We bought them for like discard value. She's still basically discard value as far as I know. Ooh. 
Hello. Patrick who? Has Patrick who sent Greenwood up to the, not to the moon, but like almost doubled in price? Could be time to cash out there and that'll get us some coins. Basically bought some Cole Palmer informs for 30k, or 36. The cheapest informs you can possibly buy on the game are currently just over 30k. And the logic is people are actually gonna want this guy when he goes out of packs and he's evolable as well. So we grabbed a few, we've put like 100k into him. And then if we jump to our gold players, we bought whilst it was on the floor. Basically every 85 in the game, apparently not all of them because we just packed up a stony that we didn't have. But basically every 85 on the game for about 4,000 coins. They are currently about four and a half, so they're up a little bit already. And we also grabbed some 86s as well for, if I show you some ones that aren't first owner untradeable, for about six and a half K, 6,600, some closer to seven. Fodder's just ridiculously stupidly low. I, I, I struggle to believe it can possibly go any lower. So it's basically risk-free, but it's already up. Like, the, we're already up 20%. Is that right? 10%, 10% on the 85s. So anyway, that's where my coins went. Let me go and find something to put Bernardo Silver into, and we will open our Foot Champs rewards. There we go. Bernardo Silva has finished off John Stones for us. So we actually played past and present Everton Foot Champs without arguably the best past and present Everton player on this game that is an icon. So that was a little bit mental. And I did see a comment actually where somebody said, start Ronald Koeman, who's a little bit suspect as Calvin is past and present Everton because he's only the manager. He never actually played for us at centre-back. Start John Stones, centre mid and just swap them. And Koeman could actually be a, all right centre mid. The issue then would be we'd have to probably drop James Garner for Koeman, who's an actual Everton player and really good and one of our Evos because he's the sweeper centre mid but it probably would make us a more meta team because then we'd have John Stones as centre back instead of Finnegan so you know swings and roundabouts but we've got him we finished it off he's there in the bank as an ex Everton player and he's apparently according to you guys in the comment section really really good so options are plenty going forward when we do Everton foot champs again let's get in and open our rewards here we go then I always want to Start with this one because it's, in my opinion, the worst one. But it's also annoying because it's untradeable and because I have to go and do another SPC again. So we're going to leave the campaign pack for now. And the Foot Champs rewards are these. The Ultimate Pack, the Rare Players Pack, the Rare... And two Rare Gold Packs, I think. Let's crack them open. See what we can get. A Spanish Striker. Borgia Iglesias. Okay. Oh, and an 85 times 2 apparently, is one of the Foot Champs rewards. Let's crack that open. Double walkout me, EA. It, I mean, it is a walkout. That means it's a... Does that mean it's a double? No, it doesn't mean it's a double. It's just Erdegaard. Okay. Good fodder. And a special, potentially. Hopefully, that's an inform. No, why, why was the board black instead of having the Arsenal flag? Come on, EA. Sané? He looks ridiculous. Ridiculous. I think it might be his brother, actually. I think his brother looks ridiculous, the Dynasties card, in that finisher Evo. I'm not sure you can put Leroy into it. Right, there we go. Stock the club back up. We're actually getting quite a lot of non of low-rated rares back in, which is good, because I want to do loads of player picks for Team of the Year. But we will just quick sell them all for 3k. And then there was two. The big one, the 125k pack, and the campaign pack. Let's go campaign first. Do we actually get... Oh, we get a walkout animation this week instead of it just loading in straight away. Is that who I think it is? Oh, my God. Bloody hell. Okay. Not even good fodder. 84 rated. And then there was one. The 125k. Any fire and ice players, EA? No. Messi. Martinez. Oh, my God. I say this every week. It's a good job I play foot champs for the personal prize, not the rewards, because the rewards are terrible. I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, we got an inform. At least he's 40k.